Welcome back to the ARK Survival Guide. We just got some more epic news about the ARK TLC update that's coming out very soon. Now, ARK's creators just announced the second creature that's getting a big TLC overhaul, and it is the Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Yeah! We just got a lot of new info on some really cool new features that Stegos will get, and I think you will all be really excited about that. We also got a lot more information on how mammoths will be changing, and I'm pretty happy with some of those updates, too. Now in this video, we will tell you everything we currently know about the upcoming ARC TLC update and why you should be excited about this too. If you like this video or find it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And make sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell for all notifications so we can keep you posted on all the awesome new updates that are coming to ARC very soon. So first of all, let's talk about the changes coming to the Stegosaurus in the upcoming TLC update. Now this update should be coming out sometime in October, so I would expect it to come out the last week of October, and hopefully we will all be pleasantly surprised if it comes out sooner than that. Now as with all TLC updates, Stegos are going to get some cosmetic upgrades and they'll look a whole lot better as you can see here. But it looks like the plates on their back have different patterns. Now this could be that aside from random colors, you also get random patterns on their plates. But Mike actually has a different theory for that, don't you? Yeah, so uh, you can see three different patterns here, and with the upcoming TLC update, Stegos will be able to switch between three different backplate modes for different boosts to their stats. It will probably be a little bit like how Spinos and Iguanodons can change their stance between going on two legs or four legs, and that may be why their plates actually change patterns when you're switching modes. Now the first mode will be the hardened plate mode, where it has a damage reduction and riders cannot be dismounted. Now this will actually be really awesome because there are some creatures like tiny little micro raptors who can kill you even on a pretty awesome mount, but this is going to fix that problem. There's also a lot of situations in PvP where somebody can dismount you from your dino and it will totally wreck your day. Now you're also going to get a wood harvesting buff in this mode which will probably boost the amount of wood harvested by the tail swipe and might even let you carry more wood on its back. And that's really exciting because Stegos used to be great at harvesting thatch from multiple trees at the same time, but they didn't get much wood at all and it was hardly worth trying to use them for wood gathering. But now we're going to have a really good lower level wood harvesting dino, which we desperately needed because let's face it, taming a Therizinosaurus or beaver or even a mammoth is never an easy task when you're at a lower level. But right now those are your only decent options for a good wood gathering creature at a lower level, but after the TLC patch you can literally rake in the wood and thatch with a Stegosaurus at level 26, which is really going to help things out. So what other modes are there going to be? Well, the second new Stego mode will be the Heavy Plate mode, which boosts your thatch harvesting and applies a slowing debuff to enemies when you attack them, which should be pretty useful in combat since Stegos are already pretty slow, and that'll make it real easy to keep up with the things you're attacking. And the third Stego mode is the Sharpened Plate mode, which will give them armor penetration when they attack, increasing their damage when they're fighting. Now, if you're doing PvP battles against people with high armor, armors on their saddle, you might actually be able to do double or triple damage when you're using this mode, so Stegos may actually become very solid options for PvP warfare. And they're also going to get a boost to their berry harvesting in this mode, so there will be food for days if you have a Stego. And last of all, Stegos will get a new attack in all of their modes to impale and immobilize players and small creatures with their tail spikes. This will probably be a lot like the raptor's pounce ability, which is pretty useful. It is definitely going to make me think twice before I attack any Stegos in the wild after this update. So that's what we know so far about the changes coming to the Stegosaurus in the TLC update. Now let's talk about some new info we learned about the changes coming to the Mammoth, because we got a lot more details, and some of them are really interesting. Now in case you missed our last ARC news update, we talked about how the second creature getting a big TLC update is the Mammoth, and it's going to look a lot better after getting some TLC, as you can see here. Plus, they told us a lot of details on what will change with the Mammoth skills, and some of them are pretty cool. 
Now, first of all, the Mammoth will get a new saddle with war drums, so two people can ride it at the same time. One is going to drive the Mammoth, while the other drops some sick beats with an epic drum solo. And aside from boosting your street cred, you get an AoE buff that boosts your stamina regen and makes you immune to fear. I mean, imagine driving down the street with a guy in your backseat just playing theme music for you. I mean, that's a pretty good confidence boost, right? Now, boosted stamina regen may not sound too amazing at first, but think how much faster you could go if your whole tribe could sprint almost constantly, and imagine how much more damage you could do with boosted stamina to so just keep attacking all the time. So I'm sure there are a lot of situations where this will really come in handy, but it's mostly geared towards large-scale multiplayer battles, and a lot of people will be really happy about that. The Mammoth is also going to get a new Trunk Trumpet skill, which will do a debuff to all enemies within range, and it looks like this won't require Require the two-person saddle for this skill. Now they didn't say exactly what stats that debuff is going to reduce, but let us know in the comments what you guys think. The Mammoth is also going to get some new attacks that will let you specialize it to gather wood or thatch, depending on which you need the most. The new Tusk Sweep ability lets you swing around and harvest tons of thatch, and the new Foot Stomp attack will let it rear up and slam the ground to gather lots of wood, probably with an AoE effect so you can harvest a whole forest at the same time. It will also directionally knock back enemies, which can be really helpful in combat, and you might be able to punch some enemies and players off cliffs with a mammoth, which would be pretty awesome. It's also getting a new trunk grab ability, which will be kind of like the Carquinos grab, which will let you grab, hold, and release smaller targets. Now, I'm sure we can come up with a lot of really useful and fun tricks with this move once that comes out, so keep an eye out for some new videos after the TLC update goes live, because I'm sure we'll find some really fun stuff to do with those techniques. So that's all the new info we have so far about the creature changes in the upcoming TLC update. But keep an eye out for more ARC news on this channel, because while they tease that we will be able to breed insects in the next big update, Mike has a feeling we may see some other significant quality of life changes coming too, and I bet we will learn more next week. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss all the exciting ARC news coming your way soon. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And like this video if you're excited about the TLC update coming soon. Let us know in the comments what you think of the creatures getting the updates, and if you're happy with the changes. And keep an eye on this channel for more guides, live streams, and let's plays coming your way soon. So until next time, stay safe, have fun, and we, we will see, see you in the, in the next, next video. video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media so your friends can enjoy it too. And make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of awesome new guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays for ARK and other awesome games coming soon and you won't want to miss any of that. We already have lots more fun and helpful videos just like this one, so check out the links at the end of this video to keep watching. You can also chat with other gamers if you join our channel's Discord the link in the description. If you want to earn great rewards while supporting this channel, click the join link next to the subscribe button for more information about our channel memberships. We want to give a big thank you to some of our biggest supporters of this channel, Sabo0283, Cole Parmenter, Emmy Fisher, Wolf Girl Be Like, Kelly Razjak, and Ashley Owens. Thank you all so much for everything you do to make this channel possible. So until next time, we hope you have fun on your own video game adventures, and we, we will, will see you in our, our next video. video.